Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we'll talk about a very important design pattern that is strategy design pattern. Before that, let me introduce myself. I am Palaj Dumre. I'm a software engineer at Globen and I hold around 6.5 years of experience into mobile application development. Please do like, follow and subscribe for such more videos. And if you want to contribute to the Meet Kotlin community, please reach out to us on the email mentioned in the description. So let's get started. What is strategy design pattern? It's a behavioral design pattern. That means it is more concerned on how objects interact with each other. Here we encapsulate different algorithms so that a client can choose one of them at the runtime. That means you can easily switch between different algorithms that are encapsulated just based on an object. In short, in strategy pattern, we create objects of type strategy and a context object changes its behavior as per the strategy object. So let's quickly move to Kotlin Playground where we will see a small program to get a clear understanding of what the pattern is. And then we can move to a practical scenario in Android. Here we'll build a small player which will support music and video player. We'll first look how traditionally we build this. So let's first create a class music which have a method play. Similarly, we'll create a class video which also have a method play. And then we'll create a class player which will have a method play which will actually call the method of music or video. This play method takes platform as an argument. This platform will help us determine whose play method to call. To do this, we need to add a conditional statement. Let's add when condition. Inside this when condition, we'll first take music as a parameter, then video as a parameter, and we are done. Let's look how client will use this. We'll have a main method inside that main method we'll first create a object of a player using that player we'll first call the method play and we'll pass music and this will go to our player class create an object of music and play it similarly we'll do this for the video as well and we are done here we notice that this code doesn't support open close principle. That means it is not easy for us to add new functionality into the system. Say if we want to add a class reels, we have to add a new class reels and also have to edit our player class, which goes against the open close principle. Now let's look how strategy pattern actually solves this problem. Here, you might notice this code doesn't follow open close principle. That is, you cannot add a new functionality easily. You have to add a separate class and also have to edit the player's class to support the system. And then the client will be ready to use it. Let's see how strategy pattern solves this problem. In strategy pattern, we first create our strategy. That is platform in our case. This platform have a play method. Any subclass of it should override this play method. Now our system supports music and video player. So let's create a music class, which is a subclass of platform. This music class will override method play. Similarly, let's create a video class then finally let's create our context that is player this player will have a method play which takes platform as an argument you'll notice here this platform is of type strategy this player method will receive platform as a strategy and you might notice that in traditional code we have a when condition to determine whose play method to call. Here 
will omit that when condition and you will surprise to see only one line of code what our object will be passed as an argument that play method will be called let's see how our client will work we'll first create an object of a context and using that context we'll call the play method and then we'll pass our strategy in this case it's music similarly let's do it for a video now how can we say that this code supports open close principle what does the open close principle says the principle says that a class should be closed for modification but open for extension let's try it out we want to extend our system to support rails so what will we do we'll first create a class rails and yes we are done the client is ready to use it see how easily we added a new functionality now we can say that our code supports open close principle we have added a new functionality rails without actually modifying our player class so it's that easy with this strategy pattern also we have made our code easily scalable we can add any number of functionality to the system and our player class remains same now let's try out this pattern in a practical application in android here we'll be building a small basic android application a calculator which will support addition subtraction and multiplication we'll be using strategy pattern to support this functionality so here is a class diagram we have a calculator strategy and we have three subclasses which will override its method execute and then we have a context that is a calculator which client will interact so now let's quickly move to the android code as you can see our ui part is already built so that we can focus more on the functionality of the application let's start as per the class diagram we'll first create our strategy then we'll create separate class for each supported operation which will be a subclass of the strategy these classes will provide their respective functionality let's add a context let's call it a calculator this calculator have a method execute which takes strategy as a parameter the client will send a strategy to this method this is the click listener of the calculate button on click of the calculate button will first check what's the operation to be performed and using the calculator object will call the execute method where will pass addition as a strategy let's look how it will work this execute will take the flow to the context and remember we have passed strategy as an addition so here this statement will execute th this method of addition which will perform the addition and return result back to this execute method which in turn will give back the result to this variable similarly let's add other two functionalities this is for multiplication we have passed strategy as multiplication and the remaining we pass strategy as subtract we are getting result back on this result variable so let's append the result to the result text using this variable and we are done let's try our application i have already built it and it's available in the emulator so let's first try addition 7 plus 8 that is 15 let's reset it and try subtraction let's say 
minus 7 that is 1 let reset it and try multiplication let's calculate 8 into 9 let's calculate it's 72 and it works i hope now you have understood how to implement strategy pattern and also figured out why to use it but let's look at few points this pattern follows open close principle which will make your code maintainable and scalable that means you can easily add new functionality also it avoids conditional statements as we have already seen it also helps to achieve separation of concerns when to use it you can use this pattern if you have multiple classes that are related in terms of what they do also you can use this pattern when you want different algorithms within the same object and you want to avoid conditional statements to call this algorithms i hope now you are ready to implement strategy pattern and use wherever needed thank you